hello everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome thank you so very much for clicking on my video my name is maria and in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i clean up my travel trailer so we took a hunting trip the day after thanksgiving for my son's first hunting trip and as you guys could see the travel trailer is still a mess i haven't had a chance to get it all cleaned up it is super dusty and just really gross in here here is our bed and I just need to get it cleaned up um, I normally do this uh, right after our hunting trips and I just get it all cleaned up I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what I want to do in the travel trailer so first thing I want to get done is the kitchen um, you guys can see like just how disgusting and dirty it is in here I need to clean the stove top um, the just countertops the sink and I think my husband already went ahead and winterized it so I have to be really careful not to, to pour any water down the drains so here is the bed that's the bathroom over here on this side is the dinette area that turns into a queen size bed so we have just pillows and blankets and just hunting clothes. I need to get this all cleaned up. The floors are super dusty and dirty and the microwave is not too bad. Ooh, I don't remember. Um, so yeah, the microwave isn't that bad. This is actually a conventional oven too, so we can bake in here as well, but I need to get that cleaned up. You guys can see it's just like so dusty and gross in here Ooh. and the fridge I still have like, we have pudding in here and some media lights a few Kool-Aid pouches so I'm going to get that cleaned up and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys it's really cold today so I have this little heater in here to warm it up it's nice and warm in here now but let me show you guys real quick the bathroom um, this bathroom is super teeny and tiny so I do need to get the sink cleaned up wipe the walls down over here we have like this little storage compartment so yeah I am going to go ahead and get the travel trailer cleaned up show you guys how I do it so the first thing on the list is pretty much strip the our pot of all the linen all of the bedding take all of this dirty stuff out of here and then I will be back to get started on the clean Right, guys this is all the linen that I need to wash from the art pod including that pillow so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this into the house and put it in start washing some of this this is like quite a bit of loads but I'm gonna show you guys outside of our house it's actually a really decent day it's kind of um kind of cloudy and it's starting to get windy. We are supposed to get some snow. Um, I think it's coming like in the next two days. Yeah, um, it's starting to warm up. Yesterday it was about 25 degrees was the high. So yeah, it's really nice day today. So that's why I chose this day 
to clean the art pot because my husband did go ahead and disconnect the propane tank and I'm, do I'm using that little electric heater. So as you guys can see, it's starting to get windy. That's our driveway. And there's a dirty linen. I'm going to go ahead and take that inside. Sorry guys, here is the travel trailer. I have it, um, the linen cleared out. I am going to start by dusting everything because it is so dusty in here. I have my caddy here full of everything that I think I'm going to use to clean the trailer out. So yeah, I'm going to start by dusting pretty much everything, the walls, the doors, um, this little compartment up top and then I am going to go ahead and um, clear the rest of this stuff out like I have some I think I still have my boots under here and just clear everything out give it a good sweep and then start cleaning everything out so real quick this kind of I don't know decorative feature looks like this this one um, came out so my husband's going to fix that as soon as I'm done cleaning, but yeah, that is going to stay like that for now. These pillows do stay in here, um, so I'm just going to move them aside, and yeah, I'm going to get started on the cleaning. Not too bad, but it is pretty dusty. like using this longer Swiffer in here because it can like I can get this dusted without having to climb over this dinette so this is what I do in here it picks a lot of this dust up it was super dusty when we went on this camping trip or this hunting trip so we got a lot of dust in the art pod Over here on this side, as soon as you walk into the travel trailer, we have this little storage compartment still full of some of our hunting stuff. I'm going to go ahead and take everything out that goes back into our hunting storage compartments. I'm going to take that out and put that in there. Everything else will stay in here. I have some books down here. And then I have, we have the TV. I'm going to give that a good dusting and then wipe it down. And over here are the control switches for the travel trailer. We have the water heater, the pump. This is the one that um, slides the travel trailer in and out. A little light for the outside. For the stereo, we could actually put the speakers to play inside or outside or both. Yeah, here is the slide out. I'm going to slide that in so you guys can just see how it works. It starts sliding in and then we slide it out. Do that all from the inside. I just wanted to show you guys that. And that is going to be it for this little area. I'm going to go ahead and get it dusted and all cleaned up. So over here, I do have a bucket of warm water. I'm going to be using this to clean the art pot because my husband went ahead and winterized it. So that is what I'm going to be using. 
to clean this out and I'm sure I will have to change this bucket out several times. This is a really good book. If you guys are interested in picking up a new book, I really like this one. The Case of the Case for Miracles. Must have. So because it's super dusty in here, I decided to go ahead and use my Swiffer to um, get the floors cleaned up because I just felt like sweeping would have just lifted all of this dust up. I know it's hard to see, but maybe right here you guys could kind of see along the wall how much dust there really is in here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use my Swiffer to get all of this dust out of here starting with this area back here this is under our bed Okay guys, I want to show you how disgusting the floors are. Look at my Swiffer. That is all dust and dirt. I think I managed to get all of it. Right, let's go ahead and start cleaning the kitchen. So for the stove top, I am going to be using the Dawn Platinum Power Wash in here. I just wanted to go ahead and give it a try. You guys know that I love my method degreaser, but I thought I would just go ahead and give this a try in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray everything down. let it sit for a little while in the meantime I am going to go ahead and get a new bucket of warm water to get this cleaned up before I head inside to get that new bucket of water I am going to go ahead and just give these cabinets a quick wipe down If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Maria. I'm a wife and a mom to one 15-year-old boy, and we live in the beautiful state of New Mexico known as the Land of Enchantment. On my channel, you will find cleaning motivation, cooking videos, DIY projects, grocery hauls, Dollar Tree hauls, vlogs, and if that is content that you guys like, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love it for you to be a part of my YouTube family. And to all of my returning subscribers, thank you guys so very much for watching my videos and always coming back to my channel. You guys are awesome.
I did have these soaking in the warm water and I'm just going to go ahead and dry them and put them back. And the same with the knobs. So the next thing I'm going to do is clean this um, dinette area. I'm going to go ahead and just put the cushions back. I might need help with that table because it really does give me a hard time. And then I will get started with the bathroom. Okay guys, so now it's time to clean the bathroom. This is a really, really tight spot. As you guys can see, it is like the tiniest bathroom ever. So I am going to try to um, film this cleaning of the bathroom as much as I can on camera. And I am going to go ahead and use some pine saw and some Method Anti-Bac Cleaner in here. This is the shower basin, so I gotta get all of this cleaned up. I normally am um, able to get this basin cleaned up pretty well with some pine salt and a magic eraser. So that is what I'm going to do next. Let's get the bathroom cleaned up.
Okay guys, I did go ahead and get the toilet cleaned up and I did go ahead and get around that whole basin behind the toilet and around. It was just really hard for me to get some good footage of me cleaning it because like I said, this bathroom is teeny tiny. I got the basin cleaned up, the walls inside the bathroom sink and this little compartment here where we keep our shampoo, conditioner, and lotion. It's all cleaned up. Looks pretty good in here. And it smells really good too. So now all I pretty much have left to do is clean this little storage compartment underneath the refrigerator and give this wall right here um, next to the fridge a wipe down and then I think I will be ready to mop the travel trailer. Alright guys, here is the travel trailer. I went ahead and mopped it. It is all cleaned up. I have the dinette area all put back together. The walls are clean. No more dust and dirt in here. And over here on this side is the microwave, the refrigerator, and the kitchen. Went ahead and put a few of the countertop items back. Now I'm not going to put the bedding in, probably not until the next trip. I will wash that and store it in um, a container or one of those big Ziploc bags to keep it nice and fresh. Here are the floors, nice and clean. No more dirt, no more dust. Went ahead and wiped this bathroom door down, the walls, and over here, that storage compartment as soon as you walk in, with the TV, and all of the switches, air conditioner. So everything is all nice and clean. Again, my husband is going to fix that. Um, I don't know what that is, like it's just a decorative piece above the blinds, so he's going to fix that. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. I wanted to give you a little bit of a different kind of cleaning motivation. So please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment and hit that bell button so you are notified every time I upload a new video. Remember to check out the links below and I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye!